Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another cash envelope spread and stuffing video for February 7th. Before we get started, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Cherie and I currently live in Hawaii. I've lived in Hawaii my entire life and every single day, every single year, no matter when it is, the cost of living is going up. So one thing I'm going to mention is that I do not pay rent or mortgage. I basically live at home with my family, but that's not to say I do not contribute to the household as well. In prior videos, I did go over that I coupon for our household necessities. I also pay a few bills here and there, and I help out with the food situation at home. Basically, if you guys are looking for a video that goes over rent, mortgage, utilities, electricity, things like that, you will not find it here, only because at this current stage in my life, I don't have to pay for that yet. Um, so basically, yes, that's what I just wanted to tell you guys. I'm not telling you guys how to budget exactly. I'm showing you my method of how I save my money personally. So let's go ahead and just dive right on in to the cash envelope spread and I'll show you what we're working with for February. I went ahead and I took the liberty of filling out my cash envelope spread off camera so we can basically see what's going on. I have everything split up. So we have variable expenses, fixed expenses, sinking funds, and then I also have a transfers page that focuses on fixed expenses. Going through variable expenses, these are the categories that I carry with me every single day in my wallet. I have cash dividers that just divvy up the money. For groceries, nothing much has changed here. $75 or $175 is what I allocate for the entire month for groceries. So we split it right down the middle. So we have enough money for the entire, I guess the duration of the two weeks for the month. Um, and then on into fun, I brought this down to $80. $100, I found myself not using it all. So $80 would be better. So that's gonna get 40 and 40. Beauty is also going to get 40 so we have $10 on my first paycheck and $30 on my second paycheck. Personal care, I think I brought this down to $20. Prior to that, it was a little bit higher. But personal care gets 10 and 10 Entertainment is $30. Usually $30 is supposed to last us the entire month, so I will save that in the beginning of the month. Eating out, I brought it down to $80, so 40 and 40 I think those are um, comparable. I mean, they're they're good to have with you at all times. So with these amounts, I think I can really work with my budget on the daily basis, I guess you could say. Uh, but we'll definitely see at the end of the February budget recap. Moving on in to fixed expenses, we have yard, cell phone, iWatch, and my car payment. So for my yard, that's $60, 30 and 30. Cell phone is $95, 45 and 50. iWatch is $33, so we're gonna save $13 and $20. And my car payment is gonna get $500 this month. Typically my car payment, well, every single month, my car payment is supposed to be $342.13. But because of my income, it allows me to put additional money toward the principal so I pay for my loan plus principal make sure you always tell your bank teller or when you write a check make sure you indicate that that whatever extra amount is left over is going toward your principal if not that money that additional money that you're putting on your car payment is gonna basically go toward paying for your interest which is something that you do not want to do um, so we have 250 and 250. Next on in to my sinking funds. So this is my most favorite category. It helps me to plan for the future. And when the occasion or the time comes around, I have the money available and I have to work with whatever is currently saved. So birthdays is going to get 20. So that's 10 and 10 per paycheck. Occasions, I have brought this down to only $10. So five and five. Car maintenance is only getting $20, so we have 10 and 10. Travel is $400. So one disclaimer here is that my boyfriend and I will be going on vacation 
very soon, coming in April. With my income, I'm able to save $400. I'm not saying that everyone can save $400 because like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, everyone has different expenses. Everyone has different things to save for. This is my personal savings goal for my travel category specifically. If you only have the availability to save $5 a week or $10 a week, don't be discouraged. You are setting a goal, setting a plan to take a vacation. Eventually you'll, you'll get there depending on what your income allows. So that's all I have to say about that. But that's 200 and 200. Medical and health is $40. I use this category for any co-payments for the doctor's office or uh, my boyfriend and I go to the chiropractor. So that covers those co-payments. So 20 and 20. Mother's and Father's Day is coming around very soon. So we have $30 going to be budgeted toward this category and splitting it up evenly, 15 and 15. We also have Christmas. We're gonna split that down the middle. So we have $40 saved, 20 and 20. It's never too early to start saving for Christmas. Christmas is very, very expensive. My second to the last sinking fund is car registration. This is coming up due in April. So I'm projecting about $360 in all for the car registration. If I save now, I have three months to do it. So 120 times three is $360. So I'm glad I am starting that. So we have 60 and 60. The last sinking fund I have is item of choice, basically, any money I have left over after allocating for these expenses, transferring to other bank accounts, and then also saving in my savings account and my uh, super saver, I will put additional money into item of choice. And currently the item of choice is a bed, which I desperately need. Moving over in to the transfer spread, all of these bills you see here are paid electronically. So I have two checking accounts, one that my paycheck goes into, and then I have another checking account that I specifically write checks for. Right now, I only write checks for my association and the phone and internet you see right here. Association gets 97. I do split that up into 47 and $50. Car insurance is $73.34. I like to just round it up of how much I'm saving. So that's 40 and 34. Phone and internet is $75.97. Splitting that down is 35 and 41. And for gas, that's $60. It should last me the entire month. That's 30 and 30. I previously did have European Wax Center listed here but I'm actually done paying for my payment plan. So I am all set to go there for the rest of 2020. That's really exciting for me. That's $139 that I no longer have to save. Now that we went over the spread, I'll gather my cash and my envelopes and my dividers so we can finally partake in my most favorite thing of payday, which is actually stuffing them. So I will be right back. Now I have all of my cash laid out Starting off with my insert, so excuse the glare, but we have the inserts right here, ready to go. I custom made these, so if you have not yet checked out my video and are interested in making your inserts, I do have a video. I will link it somewhere on the screen and even in the description bar if you are interested in seeing how I made these with scrap paper for my goals. I also laminated them and I just made these custom little uh, tabs to indicate what my categories are starting off with food food only gets $75 so we're gonna do 20 40 60 we have 70 and 5 fun is going to get $40 so we have 20 and 40 Entertainment is going to get $30 of a 20 and a 10. We also have eating out that's going to get $40, 20 and 40. Personal care is going to be getting $10 for this time around, 
Okay, and then last category I have is beauty. We're going to also put $10 into this category as well. Now moving on into the Clever Fox Cash Envelopes. I actually got this um, sent by me by the company, but if you are interested, you can check out their website and they also have it available on Amazon. I would recommend these cash envelopes only because I use them frequently and they're very durable. One thing to mention is that the paper looks a little bit crinkled, but that's the method behind the durability. It's water and rip or tear proof, which I highly enjoy. If you guys are interested, go ahead and check it out. Um, everyone has different opinions, but personally, I like them. Starting off with the yard fun, I'm not gonna be filling out the inserts today only because it takes a little bit of time. I can do that off camera, but yard is gonna get $30. Okay, and 30. Currently in this envelope, I do have $60 waiting. We are gonna get our yard done tomorrow, so that's really nice to have the money already ready to go. Car payment is going to get $250. We're gonna take 250. And this envelope is empty. We paid for the car last month. Cell phone gets $95. And I also use this envelope as my iWatch payment envelope. So first let's get the uh, $45 for the cell phone for the first paycheck. It's 20, 40, and five. And then we're also gonna get the $13 for my iWatch. And these $3 right here. Now in to birthdays. Birthdays is going to get $10. And we have some money back here for birthdays. Occasions is only gonna get $5, but it's better to save at least $5 than nothing at all if you can uh, definitely fit it into your budget. Travel is going to get $200 from this paycheck. So let me get my 200. We're gonna just use these $200 bills here. And currently in this envelope, I believe I only have $50. So $50, like I mentioned, I save our money as we go. So when the vacation actually comes, Pretty much we're paying for our vacation in cash, but we are using a credit card in order to get the miles and the points. The next envelope we have is for medical and health. For this pay period, we're only gonna save $20. And I currently have $20 in the back. Mother's and Father's Day is going to get $15. 10 out of five. Okay, and and we have a little fun going here. Christmas is going to get $40. It is best to start saving for Christmas because in general, Christmas is really expensive. So $40, and I currently have $40 saved, so we're getting that fun going. Car maintenance is going to be a double category envelope. So we're going to save for the car maintenance and we're also gonna save for the car registration in the same envelope. So for the maintenance part, we're only saving at $10. And then for my registration, we're saving the $60 right here. Well guys, this is everything that I have for my cash envelope stuffing video for my first paycheck of February. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps for the video to be seen all over the world if people are interested in this kind of content. If you also want to be notified when a new video is uploaded, hit that notification bell. It will definitely alert you when there's new content available. And lastly, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you do appreciate these kind of lifestyle and budgeting and couponing videos, hit that subscribe button. It's either red down below or you can hit the little icon in the right bottom hand Corner. I will see you guys in my next video. If you have any comments or questions, don't forget to drop it down below. I really love talking to you all. You guys have a great day, night, evening, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Bye.